when I'm doing tie rod ends, this is one of my favorite tools to use to get them off. So typically, uh, you'll take and you'll hit it right here with the hammer, right? But if you take the ratchet strap, hook it onto the ball joint itself and put pressure on it pulling up and then hit it, it makes it so much easier and you can see for sure when it comes off as long as you got good pressure on there once you hit it and it pops off it'll actually lift up out of the hole and so you won't be hitting more than you need to and that's something that I usually do when I do tie rod ends and even ball joints like on the ball joint there I'll use a ratchet strap and I'll pull up I'll pull up on that or put a jack in there or something so it, it's got pressure pushing up on the upper ball joint so that when you hit it with the hammer around this area here you'll see when it comes loose and there's no guessing that's just a little tip that I a little trick I learned a long time ago I use ratchet straps for a lot of stuff if you know me On this van, I don't have to take the nut off because the boot is big enough to go over it. But if I was replacing the, and I needed to take the um, the nut off, and still I wanted to be able to hold the alignment to where exactly where it is, one way I would do it is to clean all this up. I just clean it up real nice and then paint it or even primer, paint, primer, just a lighter color to where once I took the nut off and I put it back on, I'd be able to screw it on without, um, and once I got to where it was to the paint, I'd know, okay, stop. But that's not the case on this one because I don't have to take it off at all. So I was able to do it without doing that. Another way to do it is with the tires on, take and spin your front tires and take a pencil or a piece of chalk and put a line down the center of the tire and then measure from the front of the tire so if it was a rotor right here you take and you spin it and you put a, a line and you'd be able to do something where you could hold it straight I like to do it on the ground I take a brick and put it on the ground and then lay my pencil on it so it'd become something kind of like this. This is the low budget alignment. So you do something like this, and then you have your tire right here, and you spin the tire, and you'd basically just hold that pencil or piece of chalk perfectly still and spin the tire so the line would be straight down the middle. But it would be like here. Right? And spin it. So you got a line and then from here you measure from here and you got to do it on both front tires from here over to the other side when you on the tire and you measure the distance and then you go to the back measure from here over from that line to the other line on the back side and once you have once you get the same measurement on the front as you do on the back then you know that your alignment that way is straight but I but the up and down I don't know I don't do that so that's not an issue so much but just to get it to where the tires are straight run a line measure between the two lines and get it and turn your um, tie rod inner tie rod until it gets to the same front and back and you got an alignment to an extent. 